Hello, uh, let us move on to another type of problem. So, in this type of problem, we have to compute the center of plane area. So, here they are not giving any shaded area at all. So, we have they are given any plane area. We have to uh, just compute uh, the centroid of the given plane area problem. It's just like uh, I section, T section, what we have solved in composite sections in class. So, this is a very simple problem. So, first uh, we have to identify. So, the what are the basic shapes given in the problem? So that is a major one. So here, if you divide this one as a first basic shape, this is triangle. First basic shape as triangle. Next, I am dividing this one. This is rectangle. Next, I am dividing this one. This is triangle. So this is rectangle. So we have divided the given plane area into four basic shapes. The four basic shapes are triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle. So the computation of centroid is very simple. That is x bar equals sigma a x divided by sigma a with respect to y axis. With respect to y axis, y bar equals sigma a y divided by sigma a with respect to x axis. x axis. So maybe table are color. Serial number. Shaded. This is not shaded area. Only area. It is basic shape. Basic shape. Then area. Area in meter square. Because in previous problem I have given centimeter. Another previous problem I have given mm. In this particular problem we have given meters. So area in meters. X in meter. Y in meter. Then AX. Next AY. Next remarks. Any remarks. Remarks. So now I am coming to first one. What is the first basic area? Triangle. Come to remark. Here you are having y. Here you are having x. So here all basic shapes lie in first quadrant. Both x and y are all are positive. So here we are having triangle like this. So g, g, x comma y both are positive. So x we are measuring with respect to apex. From apex, two third of b. Here also we are measuring with respect to base. So why we are measuring with respect to base? Comma h by 3. If it is apex, 2 third of h by 3. But we are measuring with respect to base, h by 3. Here we are measuring with respect to apex, tip of triangle, 2 third of b. Now area, a1 equal half into base into height. Therefore a1 equal half into, what is base? Base is 2. 2 meters, height is 6 meter. So this is uh, 2 meter and 6 meter. 2 into 6. So a1 is 6. Right? 6 meter square. Next x. x is 2 third of x1. 2 third of b. So 2 third of b is 2. So 4 by 3. What is the value of 4 by 3? 1.33. 1.33. Next y1, y1 equal h by 3, height is 6, so 6 by 3, two. y1 is two. 2, what is the value of ax and what is the value of ay, what is the value of ax, 7.98, 7.98, what is the value of ay, 12. 12, so the first basic shape is over, then the second basic shape, considering Rectangle. Rectangle. X. Y. Here we are having rectangle. Here we are having rectangle. Now this is our G. So here to here distance is X2. And here to here distance is Y2. Y2. So G is 
x2 both are positive but x2 is this gap 2 plus b by 2 2 plus b by 2 x is 2 plus b by 2 comma y is d by 2 y is d by 2 y 2 plus because we are measuring with respect to y axis what is the gap here this is 2 meters we are measuring with respect to this axis therefore 2 plus this b by 2 is the centroid we are measuring whatever the measuring axis we have to consider that particular distance therefore a2 is l into b that is a2 equals length is 2 depth is 7.5 7 or b into d you take b into d direct into depth b into d therefore 2 into 7.5 15 a2 equals 15 x2 x2 equals 2 plus 2 plus 2 by 2 b by 2 is 2 by 2 that is x2 is 3 that is 2 plus b by 2 b is 2 2 by 2 is 1 2 plus 1 3 what is y2 y2 is d by 2 so d by 2 d overall depth is 7.5 7.5 by 2 what is the value of y2 3.75 3.75 now compute 15 into 3 45 15 into 3.75 How much? 56.25 56.25 56 The second basic shape is over Next the third basic shape is This one Triangle Triangle Come to the axis Axis is here But the triangle is here Right? This is the triangle so the triangle, this width, this height is 6 minus 1, 5. This is 5 meters. Triangle height is 5 meters. And breadth, 6 minus 1, 5. five. This is 5 meter by 5 meter. 5 meter height, 5 meter breadth is triangle dimension. Now I am measuring G. So here to here distance, this is X3. And here to here distance is y3 now observe here what is x3 x3 equal this gap this gap is 2 plus 2 4, four plus plus we are measuring with respect to base b by 3 4 plus b by 3 similarly y3 this gap what is this gap 1 1 1 Plus here also we are measuring with respect to base h by 3 1 plus h by 3 both are positive Now what is area? a3 equals half into base into height Therefore half into 5 into 5 25 by 2 a3 12, is 12.5 12 12 Right? Now x3 4 plus b by 3 That is uh, 4 plus 5 by 3 How much? x3 4 plus 5 by 3 5 by 3 4 plus 5 by 3 5.66 5 point 6, 6. 5 point 6, 6. 6, 6. similarly y3 y3 equal 1 plus h by 3 therefore y3 equals 1 plus h is 5 5 by 3 how much what is the value of y3 1 plus 5 by 3 or 5 by 2, 3 plus 2, 1 2.66 2. 2.66 66. 66. Now A3 X3 12.5 multiplied by 5.66 12.5 multiplied by 5.66 70.75 70. 70.75 12.5 multiplied by 2.66 12.5 multiplied by 2.66 33.25 33 33.25 33 Then the last basic shape is Rectangle The last basic shape is Rectangle Now the axis Y is here X is here Our Rectangle is on just like this So this is uh, 1 meter 1 meter 
and this is also 1 meter, right? 1 meter plus this one, 6 meters, fine. So total is 6 meters. So if you consider this as G, here to here is X4, X4 and here to here is Y4. So X4 equals this gap. What is this gap? 4. 2 plus 2? 4. 4 plus B by 2. 4 plus B by 2 means 6 by 2. Y4 is directly B by 2. There is no gap at all, 1 by 2. So this is regarding this particular thing. Now, A4 is L into B. Length is 6 into 1. So therefore, A4 is 6. X4 is 4 plus B by 2. Therefore, 4 plus breadth is 6 by 2. Therefore, X4 equals 7. 7. Y4 is directly D by 2 because on the axis. So, Y4 equals 1 by 2. Y4 is 0.5. What is the value of 7 into 6? 42. 42. So, 6 into 0.5? 3. It's over. Now, compare sigma AX. Compare sigma A. Compare sigma AX. Sigma AX. Compare sigma A1. Sigma A. 6 plus 15. 21. Plus 12.5. Plus 6. 39.5. Now, 7.98. 7 plus 45. 45. Plus 70.75 plus 42. 165.73. 165.73. Next, 12 plus 56.25 plus 33.25 plus 3. 104.5. 104.5. Finally, Sigma A x equals sigma x bar equals sigma A x by sigma A. Sigma A x is 165.73 divided by 39.5. What is the value? 4.19. 4.19 meters. Similarly, y bar is 104.5 divided by 39.5. 2.64. 64. 64 meters. If you want to reconcile, it's very easy. Y, X. This is the given plane area. So X is 4.9, Y is 2.64. Approximately G is here. This is Y. Y value is 2.64 meters and X value is 4.19 meters. This is regarding the approximate G value. Clear? So this is regarding how to compute the centroid of plane areas. Here there is no reduction, there is no shaded area, it is a direct problem. So here sigma AX is all positive because all the plane area in first quadrant, therefore there is all quadrantal signs also positive and area is also positive. So this is a very simple problem but also these kinds of problems also very very important. Thank you.